My whole life, the one thing that I longed for was an identity. I tried being vegetarian and gay. Then I heard about the Supreme Court's recent ruling that a corporation has the exact same political rights as a person. Corporations are to be treated exactly like people. So that got me thinking. Why can't a person be more like a corporation? A uh, little IRS paperwork, quick trip to Delaware, and it was official. I'm a corporate person American. As an African American, you have to be 10% better at everything just to get a fair chance. But as a corporate person American, the only penalty for failure is more and more chances. For me, it's about equality. Even the fiercest opponents of same-sex marriages won't make a peep if we call it a merger. Try and stop that with a proposition. I hate, 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 hate paying taxes. But now that my address is a P.O. box in the Caymans, I don't have to. As my own corporation, I no longer call it masturbation. I call it sleeping with my secretary. Being a corporation was the highest dream of our founding fathers. Just ask Sam Adams or George Washington Mutual. I fought the law and the law won. Then I incorporated and wrote the law. The Supreme Court says we corporations can spend as much money as we want on political candidates and never identify ourselves. I call us the ninjas of democracy. I'm a good law writer. I'm the CEO, bitch. Money! <laughs> Remarket! No matter your race, creed, gender, or orientation, the promise of America is that every corporation gets the exact same rights and no responsibilities. But now, a small group of Americans calling themselves the majority want to take away the inalienable rights given by our great manufacturer in heaven. Join us. Stand up for your corporate identity at the U.S. Capitol Building in Washington, D.C., across from the Supreme Court, where our emancipators are working hard for us. We're here, we're corporate, get used to it. Trademark.